Virgo, welcome to your love reading for February. General reading with me, Andrew Nelson, your psychic tarot reader. Um, take it as it resonates. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Ascending. We're going to see what's happening for you in love. All right. We're going to end off our reading with, uh, uh, with the answer from the angels, from the angel oracle. So, you know, whatever that burning question is that you might have, even if it's not pertaining to love, you know, ask it. And at the end, we're going to draw it and we're going to see what it is that the angels have to say for us. All right. Please remember this reading is general. Please take it as it resonates. Um, with me, Adrian Nelson, your Psychic Tarot Reader. If it's your first time here, I'd like to welcome you. And if you are coming back, I'd like to welcome you back. If you're not subscribed, I hope that you would consider subscribing to the channel. If any of you are... Whoa, 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 whoa. Mm -hmm. Dealing with some big things here. <laughs> if any of you are interested in learning card reading or you're newly spiritually awakened, I'd like to take your spiritual journey to the next step you might like to check out my um, spiritual awakening starter kit course there's links for all of it down below in the description and um, there's also a free oracle card reading course all right so let's see what is the energy that have brought you to where you currently are so we got the queen of cups and then here with the star we've got aquarius energy and then with the magician we have got um we have got Mercury energy, communicative energy, all right? So, first of all, focusing on love, solely on love, Virgo, Queen of Cups. Did your heart reawaken to love again, reawaken to being with a person, with a connection? It's almost like you may have had something that has been going on here with someone for a while. Um, Maybe they would have wanted to be with you, you wanted to be with them, didn't really go there, didn't really happen. Um, you know, possibly dealing with a water sign, maybe a Pisces, doesn't have to be that sign, could also be an air sign. Um, but, um, you know, there's that, that really... Um, and Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, sorry for those of you that might not know the air signs. Um, or it could just be that that's in your chart, you know, that that's in your placement. But it's, it's, it's like... It's like your heart is reawakening to your own value, actually, first and foremost. And then that now includes love. So it seems like for some reason, you almost kept yourself in a little bit of a cocoon there. So, um, there, my beautiful Virgos. And it's almost like you said, you know what, enough is enough. I'm not going to take it more further than this. And now opening yourself to the very powerful flow of love. All right. Um making a powerful connection here um either with someone already very familiar or spotting that person that you like but it is like your heart is recognizing your person as your person you know like that moment you look at someone and it's just that instant sort of recognition of that is my person type of eye um and with the magician i see you disclosing maybe some information to this person i see you trusting this person more um i see you um, really, maybe slightly to your surprise, um, because you can move quite slow in love sometimes, you know, but there is that sense of like, you know, maybe I can make it work with this person. Maybe I haven't fully seen them for who they are, you know, for what they can potentially be. Um, three of Cups in your current space, Hermit energy here for you. So you in your own space, work routine and the Eight of Wands. All right. So... This connection, this person, this energy that you're dealing with, whether they are here or still busy moving in, and, and for most of you, I feel that it's almost like they are there, but they're not like they're there. So you may know them, they may be part of your life, but maybe you all haven't made things like official yet. Um, somebody makes to, needs to make the next move here. Um, and I feel that it's you. And, and it really, this is a very supported connection. It's supported by your friends, supported by your family. It's a connection of soul family coming together. You're very divine, very fated, destined to be, you know. You were born to be together. The two of you were born to be together, all right? Um, but, you know, just allow it to come to you. Just a, it's, it's almost like the universe want to say to you, Virgo, allow yourself to feel this feelings of love. Allow yourself to feel the sense of affection. Allow yourself to really just feel it. You know, yes, you, you, you can let the person know how you feel, but allow yourself to first feel it, to almost become familiar with it yourself first, all right? Um, because there seems to be 
uh, an idea here of maybe wanting to, to, to really do something very big, to let this person know, like, you know, beyond the shadow of a doubt that you like them, you want to be with them, very big, very beautiful, but completely unnecessary, completely unnecessary, all right, completely unnecessary. Energy going forward, five of pentacles, nine of cups, and the seven of swords. All right. So, um, I really like this. So, the person that you are dealing with, maybe your person, they're not that happy at the moment, you know, but I see you coming in and I see you really lighting up their, their life, lighting up their potential, and them doing the same for you. So, basically, positively activating each other, you know. Um, Activating the 5D in one another, basically. Um, where the other person's not the key, but the, it's the connection that helps you realize that you are the key. Okay? Really beautiful, big hopes for this connection. Big dreams for this connection. And also, you, this is, this, you know, there are two people that will go the complete extra mile for one another. You'll break each other out of jail. That's, that's, that's quite something. You know, you'll break each other out of jail. Um, like this person will break the law for you. Definitely. Because I can see that you'll do the same. So they are prepared to put in what you are prepared to put in. You know, that's the thing. Because I mean, we already know that you will break into jail for someone else. But the problem is, and this is why sometimes Virgo feels unfulfilled in love. You with someone that isn't prepared to do the same for you. And you deserve the best of the best, all right? Let's clarify that recent past over there. So we got the nine of wands. We have got the son of wands, which is the um, king, uh, knight of wands, my apologies. And the mother of pentacles, which is um, the queen of pentacles. So this is your dream person. This is really your dream person. And I see that... Like, you've taken your time with this person. Like, you, Virgo, you have taken your sweet Virgorian time with this person. Um, but it's almost like you needed to know if they could stand the test of time. And, I mean, they're coming through with flying colors, you know? They're really coming through with flying colors. And I feel that you're dealing here with someone that, especially if maybe they admitted their feelings to you before, beautiful Virgo, it's a sense that if... Um, they will rather be your friend instead of, 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 of not being with you at all, all right? So if you say, I can only offer you friendship, that it might be a hard pill to swallow, but they'll say, I'll, I'll take it, okay? And, and legitimately, legitimately meaning it, not having funny intentions or nothing like that. Clearing your current space, Ace of Wands, Temperance Energy, and the Three of Cups. So... You know, this is the thing with a beautiful connection with two people that are destined together. As your heart is opening, so is theirs. All right? It's like you're just merging together. Life is just bringing you together. The universe is bringing you together at the same place at the same time. Um, so you don't have to like instigate and make plans and that sort of thing. The universe is bringing the two of you together because your heart is opening, their heart is opening. And... You know, maybe your person comes from a completely different point that they're not even thinking about this connection right now. They may like you, but, you know, maybe in their mind, they like frustrated where they're at. Maybe they're thinking of moving, that sort of thing. And But it's, it's life bringing the two of you together. And maybe you having some frustrations in your own life at the moment as well, you know, with your job, with your home, with your life, personal circumstances. But that is really the universe bringing the two of you together because it's almost like you just won't come willingly. All right? <laughs> Stubborn energies, yeah. Um, but beautiful coming together. Love, 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 love. And here's the three of cups twice in your current space. You know, as above, so below. This is a fated connection. It's meant to be. You were born to be together. Let's see what's happening in the future going forward for the two of you. So we've got the strength energy going forward. Leo energy. Maybe you're dealing with a Leo. Maybe just dealing with a strong person. Um, but beautiful healing that's happening over here. You know, I feel that in many ways, Virgo, you haven't seen yourself in that full, beautiful light of who you are for maybe quite some time. And um, this 
person, it's the love they bring you, the, the way they just prepare to, to wait for you and, you know, rather just be your friend if there can't be anything more. It speaks a lot and, you know, it, it sort of like calms that little bit of anxiety that you can have sometimes about love, you know. Do they want to be with me or do they just want to have some booty type of thing, you know. Now you know this person's really here for you, you know, and the booty's just a bonus, all right. I see some of you giving um, your heart very openly. It's beautiful. Father of Wands, which is the, the King of Wands. It's, it's you being ready, you know, going forward. It's, it's you being beautifully ready. And the Fool, a new beginning. So maybe towards the end of Feb, middle of March, you know, more beginning March, maybe middle of March. I see you just starting something new, starting something beautiful. Feelings is being admitted over here. You know, feelings are being admitted. And what is that one thing that you want to know from the angels? What is that one thing on your mind? What is that one question? Uh, my beautiful, beautiful Virgos. I'm going to take the bottom card that fell out and what does it say? Mm, perfect timing. Perfect timing, my beautiful Virgo. Right time, right place, right person, person right energy. Everything just working out and so it is. All right. So I hope that helps, beautiful Virgo. That's what I got for you. See you next time. Bye.